All right, here we are with the Duke Nukem again scene, and I don't have too much more to do. I'm going to do what I can in this video to sort of wrap things up. And uh, I've sort of organized things into collections, and I just want to do a couple more things here. I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to make it ground. So let's break that out. And uh, let's see how I'm going to do this. I'm going to uh, let's just extrude that out and snap to there. Take this and see if I can snap to the back of this door there. I'm going to do the same over here. Snap to around the door there. And this piece is going to come out to around the middle of that there. And uh, it's actually going to come up a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just raise this a little bit. Uh, not just that edge. <laughs> the whole thing. Um, just a little just like that and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to extrude down and grab the bottom and then I'm going to extrude it out to the end so there's a little bit of a like a no, just that that little bump so we've got the ground plane in there and now what I want to do is I want to work on the balcony here. So I'm going to come in here and just grab, not that, grab an edge that I can use, something like that. Shift D to duplicate, pull it out, P to break it out, and we'll start doing this. And it's going to be around there. And let's, uh, let's just scale it out, something like that. Let's try that. Let's pull that in and extrude out a ways, not too far, something like that, a rectangle like that. And we'll start with that. I'm going to extrude it down a little bit. Just think about that. And then I'm going to, let's just focus on that itself. Look down from the top. Ian, uh, let's, scale, let's just scale it on its own so scaling x sy scale in the y to do that all right and then that's going to come down further like that yeah. i think i have that backwards no it's wider on top Okay, I actually have that flipped, so I'm going to rotate Y 180. I want it bigger on top than on the bottom. So something like that is actually okay with me. And let's do the posts and then there's a little design underneath it. So let's come over here and let's, uh, let's say, Let's grab this shift S cursor to select it and I'll bring in a new plane for this and just get that into position where I would kind of want it. All right, so I'm going to scale that down. All right, let's start with something like that. In fact, uh, we should just, we'll just focus on this and this. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to start extruding it up. And let's see, Put it right in the corner there. To try that thickness. So I'm going to take this top face, okay, and I'm going to extrude up and I'm going to scale in and down like that. And then we'll extrude up and I'll just have to see how high I want it to go. So I'm going to come back actually and I'll look from the front because I want it to come up. Oh my God, it's still two, just about a third of the way up that piece there. So I just want to fix this up. I don't like it yet. I'm going to grab this stuff. I just want to pull that down a little bit more like that. Okay, so we got that going on. And let's maybe we'll flip it and have that up there as well. So let's take it scale shift Z and make it a little bit thinner 
and I'm going to take this and just pull it down and I think I will delete that face I'm going to just take it and uh, shift D rotate X 180 and just bring it up and I'll, I'll join these and then we'll get the right height so I'm just going to select that edge and that edge control E bridge edge loops and then I'm going to uh, dissolve those edges get rid of them and now it's too tall a little bit too tall anyhow so I'll grab the top and just pull it down like that so it's that that kind of shape okay so with that done let's take this and let's array it around the along the front and uh, get it to where we want it so I'm going to add the array and let's just do this I'm going to add I think five of these I'm just going to pull it out until we're as close to that spot I would want it at you know, something like that is probably going to be okay five of them eh? instead of four but we could try it we could see how we like it so I'm going to apply that array then I'm going to come in here and uh, shift D to duplicate and I'm going to pull one down uh, I could do another array but I think I'm just going to do this by eye and I'm going to do another one right about there Oops. and then maybe I'll just get that a little bit more central so those two I want to uh, you know what I'm just going to join those actually actually I can't uh, I'm going to break them out and then uh, yeah, they're joined. That's good. Okay, and I'll take this. No, you know what? I think I will just maybe I'll just copy them. Shift D instead of mirroring them. We'll see how well that works. I may need them a little bit more exact, but I may not. And am I liking the position of these? Yeah, okay. All right, and with that done, let's do some stuff going in. Actually, I take it back. I really need to bevel these. Okay, those are all beveled now, and so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to grab a piece from here, and uh, sh let's shift D to duplicate. We'll scale it down, and I'm going to scale it in the Y, I think. And I'm going to take this, and let's just extrude this through here. I'm going to get rid of that face and I'm going to get the whole thing I guess I didn't separate it yet uh, so let's go back in here let's grab the edge that got control now break that apart okay and uh, we're in water frame okay I want to get rid of that face I just want to make sure that it's embedded in there and that's fine let's give this a bevel though three and four and bevel that a little bit three I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to drag it down into these ones as well um, but I'm also, let's take this again, shift D to duplicate. I was thinking of doing one more here. And maybe this one is going to be a thicker one. So let's look here. Let's just consider pulling that down. But I think I need to pull that in. And I think something happened here. So scale X zero. And how's this one down here? Okay. Okay, these ones are all embedded. Let's just see what that looks like. I think that's kind of what I'm going for. It's not very fancy or anything. Um, so that's all joined together. So I could take that Shift D to duplicate. And um, let's rotate Z90. And just roughly position it. Like that. And then we'll box select here and pull it in. Okay, let's see if that worked. Okay. And I'll duplicate it over here. I'm going to 
take all of these and I'm going to join those together. And I think I'm okay with joining those together and joining to that. Let's come in here and merge by distance. And Alt N recalculate outside. Everybody's good. And so underneath here, I could probably join it to there. I think I need to make a small change now that I look at this. And what I want to do is I want to have this piece thinner. So I'm just going to grab the bottom, actually. I think that top is going to be thinner, like that. And the bottom is going to be thicker, like that. And that's more what I'm going for. Uh, I don't want to use that bevel, so I'm going to take that and I'm going to bevel it on my own. So grab the corners. Possibly I could get rid of a back edge, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. So I'm just going to bevel that. I'll just use three and I'll bevel all these edges here. And then I know I've got it done and I can, I can join those together now. I won't worry about shade smooth. And so that is at that position. I might adjust the height. Now there is one other thing I want to do, and I think I will select down there, shift desk cursor to select it. And uh, let's just focus on that and look from a side view. And what I want to do is I'm going to bring in a curve. Uh, I'm going to bring in a curve path, and I'm going to scale it down. And I'm going to rotate Z90. And actually, I want to rotate X90, so it's straight up and down like that. And uh, this is going to, okay, how do I want this to go? Uh, I'm going to drag this out like that. So I want to do it. Yeah, I think I do. I think I'm going to extrude up. I want to get this kind of curve thing, and then I'm going to come back like that. It's going to be something like that kind of shape. Let's just have a look at that. Um, no, I, ch I changed my mind. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that vertex and I'm going to have it more just like that. So let's just see if we can just accentuate this a little bit like that. And maybe bring those down, something like that, but we can make it a bit smaller. Let's see what I'm getting at. And okay, now that's a curve. I'm going to put, I'll go with four. And I'm going to convert that to a mesh. And I might let's see if I squish it down. I'm going to extrude back this way. And I'm going to scale Y0 to straighten that out. Let me get that. And then I'm going to extrude out. And just make the whole thing smaller. Let's see what I'm doing now. Um, might be a little bit. I might see if I can scale it in the Y and just tame that a bit. I could go with that. It's not going to be overly visible. And uh, so let's now just shift H to focus just on that. Let's take this and control. Let's control and delete those faces. And then come in here and select that edge and that edge. And uh, we'll bevel this like that. And then I'll bevel the bottom like that. Oops, shade smooth. And then, uh, oops, okay, every, everybody's coming back, I guess. Let's make sure we save that. Now that's gonna be too big, so I'm gonna scale it down and just see if I can get it to, to fit. Let's first of all bring it back here. And let's see if I scale in the Z a little bit. I still roughly get what I want. Uh, yeah, kind of like that. That's okay. Um, Oh, do I want to have that there and then extend it back? That's the that is the question. If I do that, I think that's probably okay. So I got my 3D cursor there. So what if we take that, set the origin of the 3D cursor, and mirror that over? And do I need another piece in behind there, uh, or do I need to? take this whole thing and sort of push it into the wall. Let me just see what that does. I kind of like it with no gap. Not that you're ever going to see that. And these things kind of just touch that. And I think 
I could just leave it like that without going too crazy. And so, uh, and, and if I decide I want to put it in, I will. I'm just going to apply that and join that just one more time, merge by distance. And let's double check that the face orientation is okay. So, yeah, I was wondering what that was. I was looking through it. And hopefully that that style balcony matches. So let's try this now. Um, let's create a collection to call this balcony. And let's set the origin to geometry and shift the pull another one up and see what it starts to look like. And so I basically want to have it just sort of touching this thing, overlapping it a little bit is okay like that okay so let's have that and that so now i'm going to take these shifty pull them out here i'm going to rotate z minus 90 and then we're going to pull them in over here as well let's look for control three and just line it up centered i'm looking at these and that thing that's pretty centered and then just out Pretty close anyhow. So let's save that. How does that look? Well, I don't know. Something like that. So we've got the balcony there. So I'm going to drag the balcony up here. And we also have this. So let's let's put that in the collection. I'm going to call that ground. And let's just make that alphabetical as well. We'll drop that in there. Notice, I, by the way, I did change the size of this a little bit, as I said I would. And um, there's a couple of other things to do. And I may not do everything in the videos, but I'm going to bring my 3D cursor there. And I'm going to bring in a circle. And we'll make the circle 24 vertices, let's say. Rotate Y90. And scale it down. Let's just make sure that it's out a bit. And uh, we'll just put that there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the center ones. And then one, two around it. One, two. And I guess I'll go one more. One, two, one, two. So i got those. I'm going to press E to extrude. S, Y, scale to Y. Pull them out this way. And like that. I hope that's the right shape I want. Scale Y zero and scale Y zero to straighten them out. And now I'm going to go in, come in here and I'm going to delete those vertices. So I have this. I'm going to have some extras. I'm going to grab those and those X dissolve those vertices. Take it all F to make a face. And now I'm going to round these a little bit. Shift Control B. Pull and I want three and I just just to do that. And I consider sometimes doing these somewhat sharp ones, shift control B, just a little bit of rounding like that. Okay, I'm gonna extrude, I'll extrude back so we can get rid of that back face. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, I inset, I'm gonna pull that in a little bit, and I'll extrude it back a little bit. I'm going to extrude one, or inset one more time just for shading purposes. And now I'm going to select both of those edges there and control B with three. I could try shading smooth and see. And we can just make sure it's flipped right. And we'll take this and just push it back in here. Where are we? I think that looks too big. To me, I'm looking at, let's see, we see it here. No, nope, not that one. Not maybe that one either. This one here. That thing there. Let's see what ours looks like. I'm just going to scale it down a little bit. And we're gonna, I'm going to leave it, and it's probably going to be just fine. Um, I'm not going to do, the, I've decided I don't think I'm going to do the street sign. I might do this little thing. I'm not sure I really need that. Uh, as you can see, there, there's the little the tile thing versus the concrete there. So uh, here. So it's a little bit raised up. You may not be able to see it that well in that one. Let's try this one. Yeah, you can see it's a little raised up. And there's even some weird things. But I'm not doing every single thing. And so 
that is going to leave me pretty much with uh, where is it with the door uh, which we can see here so I'm just going to work on that for a second and then that is going to be it so you know I copied this wall over I'm you know d didn't show you that but I've done that and just to save a bit of time so I'm going to grab here and duplicate it and pull it out break it out and let's come in here and let's see we've got some extra vertices here we're going to get rid of those so dissolve them and I'm going to uh, join select it all have to make a face I may bring it back and work on it here okay so what is it we need to do here um, this metal kind of door I guess we need to have like a little middle piece that goes in it looks like it goes in anyhow so let's just let's just do that using inset I inset pull that in like uh, that much maybe like that or something and bring it in just a little bit actually I don't know how much so we'll start with that yeah, okay whatever and then there's these kind of little square pieces on there so let's just do something uh, maybe I can just use this uh, shift D to duplicate pull it out P to break it out and scale it down we to scale that in the Z and sort of drag it over and see what it's like let's start with that and um, I'll extrude back in this way so I can delete that face and just see if it f seems like it fits and I'm not sure if it overlaps or not so let's look at that I know it's done in texture but now nah, it's pretty flush with the with the side so uh, here. let's just grab this and pull it back and that's probably okay now if it goes into the side I could probably get rid of uh, Let's just pull it in and get rid of that face. And I think it's flipped, so let's just do that. And then let's just uh, duplicate it down. I might put a little texture on it in Substance Painter. And I'll select the center there so I can do a mirror on this. And set the origin to the 3D cursor. And I actually mirror that over there. Now, I will probably go back in and get rid of the... the um, the bevel modifier and manually bevel some you don't have to uh, you know what I think actually I think these might look better I hope I got the whole thing if they were all the way down I don't know I just I just think maybe I'm wrong. all right anyhow let's let's go with that and uh, also I want to yeah, I totally may be wrong about that. Uh, something there like that. So let's do this. And then let's just wrap this up. So let's, uh, I just want to take this piece, shift D to duplicate, pull it out, scale it down till I get the approximate width I want. I'll break it out. And I'm going to bring it to about there, I think. I'm just going to extrude it back and have another look. Almost like to the middle right so like that but maybe a little like that i'm going to take this end and shift control b and we're going to round this i can press c for clamping so if it hits it's okay i'll just give it a little bit of that and let's give this some thickness like that i could probably delete the back face we're not going to see that and I believe it goes into the next piece. So I can probably get rid of that face and then take this and bevel it with three. Okay, we have a problem. So first of all, I'm gonna merge by distance. I got rid of something there, there was a problem. Oh, and I've got this bevel on. I'm gonna get rid of that and bevel it just here. Just with three, right? And that joins on to something. In fact, I can probably use this again. Yeah. Um, I think, let me just pull this out, P to break it out, and think about what I'm going to do with this. Can I just scale this in the, like that? Whoops. And, uh, I just want to see if I'm getting anywhere. 
uh, I'll, just, I'll just pull it out and uh, take this and pull it in. And I'd like to have it actually a little bit bigger. Just don't, don't want to screw up the curve. I kind of don't mind that just as a piece of something. So let's just end this by doing this. Let's select here, shift S, cursor to select it. Bring in a, we'll do it with a circle. And I'll do 22, it's probably far too much. But that's the way I am, at least it's too much. Rotate Y90, scale it down. And I didn't add a face to that, did I? Okay, step back, faces, and double this, like that. And I'm going to take all of this and I'm going to join it. We'll try Shade Smooth. It's looking okay, actually. And, uh, yeah. I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, I'm actually going to join. Let's see. That's got a bevel on it. All right. I'm not going to join right now. I'm just going to take all this stuff. Uh, let's see. This. You know what? I'm going to apply the mirror of that. And this is going to have the same bevel. Let's try just joining it. See, yeah, it's fine. So I'm just not going to join this yet. Let's put that together and let's call that, not door, but let's call that, uh, oh, you know what, I'll call it door two. So I've got a door two and a door one. And it, I can, at this point, I can get rid of that, really. I don't need it anymore. And this is what I have. Let's just quickly have a look at face orientation. That's good. Let's get rid of that stuff. And this is our... This is our thing. Okay, so I really think that I don't want to do any more modeling. Uh, there may be some things I have to adjust, move around. There's certainly things that have to be joined, bevels and all that. And I was actually looking again at this, and I'm not sure I'm crazy about this, but I might be fine. I might just leave it. it looks something like that. But uh, yeah, th that. I think that's going to be it. So I think we're going to come back and do, I'll, I'll show you some unwrapping. I may not do all the unwrapping with you. And, uh, and then we'll get into some texturing. All right. So that's where the Duke Nukem again scene stands so far. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're liking the series and I hope you'll tune in for the rest of it. Take care.